to another episode of Dory Knows Best, Herman Knows Better. I'm your host, Candy. Today's letter is from Frustrated Furry CJ. It reads, Dear Dory and Herman, I was the youngest member of our multi-kitty family until our human mom and dad decided to go adopt these two vagabond boy cats. The first one is okay, he doesn't bother me, but the youngest one is a pain in my rumpus room. He thinks I should play with him. He follows me around and even chases me. I snort and growl and hiss, but he doesn't care. He chases me right out of the bed and then plops down and just stares at me while I give him a good tongue lashing. Why do you think he doesn't listen to me? Do you think he speaks a different language as he is a Manx cat? I've never heard him meow. He just makes funny chirping sounds and a growly nami sound when he eats. I just want him to pick on some kitty his own size. I am double his size, so I'm afraid to smack him around as I might get in trouble. Any suggestions you can give me for dealing with this bratty cat who doesn't know his place would be extremely helpful. Signed, Frustrated Furry CJ. Dear Frustrated, What the friskies is going on out there? There seems to be an epidemic of little boy cats acting like they're the Justin Timberlakes or the Leonardo DiCaprios of the cat world. They tell you you're their first and only love. But they're fooling you. They're heartbreakers. And once they womance the tweet sweat off your plate, they say goodbye and move on. Uh, Dory? I think CJ is speaking about her new little brother who just wants to be friends with her, like Rabbit does with you. Oh. Well, never mind. Dear Frustrated Furry CJ, We've received a lot of letters with problems similar to yours. In fact, we had the same kind of problem at our house with our new baby brother, Rabbit. You say he follows you around the house and likes to chase you. Well, he's young and has a lot of energy to burn. You're the youngest next to him and he probably enjoys interacting with you, even though you growl and hiss. You're right, he doesn't care. Right now at his age, all he wants to do is run and eat and have fun. Even when you yell at him, he doesn't care. He's enjoying the interaction. You asked why he doesn't listen to you. It's not because he's a Manx and speaks a foreign language. It's because he's an alien from the planet Loki. This planet breeds mischief makers who are masters of guile and deception. They have an underworld association with Pluto, who is the figurehead of unmitigated badness as a celestial kind of con man. Them funny chirpy sounds and growly nummy sounds he makes when he eats are his way of sending messages back to his planet on how to destroy our world. Avoid this trickster or you will be kidnapped and taken into the netherworld where you will never see your humans again. Dory, just wondering, how many mocha lattes did you drink this morning for breakfast? Four. No, wait. Three. Wait, no. Five. I drank five. I think I might have five. Yeah, I think I did. I drank five. What do you ask? CJ. Your new baby brother will eventually simmer down and behave in the respectable manner you hope for. While your humans would prefer you not to box his ears, they have to understand that that is exactly what you need to do. If you stand up for yourself, he will eventually realize you are not a play toy, but someone who will react to his brattiness. Good luck, and please let us know how it goes. 